Hi, we were talking about this warped diagram here, which is a normal keyboard warped. If you start a C from the second string, everyone knows it goes, it goes three to five, six to root, and then you've got three shorts there, but it's warped, all right? The thing is, it warps into an E shape, okay? Because look at your E shape, root two, three, five, six, R. Then you're over here again with the two, three, and then back up here. That's, that's your, you know, they're the same shape, but you're, you're starting to play it as a C here with the three, five. And, and that would have a different sound. Definitely would have a different sound. Okay, so, uh, Let's see, the, uh, starting the C from here would be... And starting an E from here would be... See, they're, they're pretty much the same. So, they are the same, and we talked about that in, in Lesson 9 and 10. So that's what, what we are enthralled about, that to make a pattern, a basic pattern that's going to cross the fretboard, you, all you really need is a double 7L pattern, okay? And where did that 7L pattern come from? All right, we're taking a guess here, right here, okay. Where did that 7L pattern come from? All right, and it came from, oh, well, trying to get a good a good shot at this okay this is the unwarped even though there's uh, th this brown part usually means guitar guitar wood um, you know it, it came from a pattern that marches down here and down and if you just keep on doing these guys where are they uh, these two right here keep on stacking this guy on top of this guy and keep on adding this 7R5 to this 7R5. You add them horizontally. And you do that. With four of them, you got a 7L. And then you add them again. You find they, they drop down, but they still fit together like Legos or something. And you got a double 7L. If you keep on doing them, you end up with this big gigantic pattern, and then you decide, okay, well, let me look at this big gigantic pattern here. Where do I have a three on the bottom? Right there. Okay, there's a three on the bottom and a three on the top. That's a good place to start my guitar fretboard, because three is an E. All right, just remember that. Three is an E in root C tuning, okay? And that way, so you just put a hyper fret there, and when it warps, we've got three and three right here. Okay, there, there it is. There's the uh, here's the green three. It's C D E. E is the green three, uh, the third of C. So a good place to start a fretboard if you wanted to build one would be where this three is, and then and then. What we do is we end up taking this this guy right here, right? All right, we'll copy that, okay? And we're gonna put him, we're gonna warp it so that the threes are the same on the same fret, right there. See how they're kinda on the same fret there? We'll move them in, you know, then, we, then I adjust them to be the same you know, the same height, like, right there, see? Now the threes are the same, but we have an extra one there. So we kind of, we kind of don't want to do that. We kind of don't want to do that. We want to undo that. Okay, so it ends up looking like this. It's a good place to start your fretboard, okay? And then this would become the main, the main fret there, right? The main nut build your fretboard there oh no we've run out of fretboard what do we do just come over here and look at this six okay so i can take the rest of this stuff from six 
and and take it all the way you know as far as I want okay and it just builds like that it just builds like that now let's see uh, so that's going to be over here somewhere I'll just paste that and there it is there it is see it goes six to seven two to three five to six r to two three four five you know I, I forgot to straighten it out and that's very important i always straighten out my warp so all these have been moved around now if they move around too much all of a sudden you'll get a purple mix with a pink here and uh, you know that's not good unless unless you're in a hurry you know when you don't have time to keep maintain that integrity so that's how I build a fretboard. All right, we can build our fretboard from the three, or you can build it from the R. So it doesn't matter where this really happens, as long as you understand that you know essentially the the uh, the seven L. You know, if you want to do all your patterns, you can pretty much start from the A shape. <laughs> G, then the C, the E, the C shaped E, then the D, and that's it. We've covered all five. Anything after that begins to repeat again, not because of the octave but because of the way things are shaped. So if you just learn what's going on there, all right, so underneath the G is just another A, right? We did the C. Did we do the C after the A? Did we do the C? And then it goes back to the A after that. That's, it's a good thing to understand that what's the difference between playing patterns? These are patterns, all right? The 7L unwarp is a massive pattern that just gives us a better understanding that uh, we don't have to necessarily play the cage shape. We can play the pattern. So I... If, if I see want to start a C thing, right? I can go three, four, five, six, seven, root, and then to two, three, four, five, six. But then I have to warp. So sometimes it's better to just to think of it as a C instead of thinking of it as an S two L, okay, and then an S three S on top of it. And then the, the bottom string of an S to L on top of that, which would be a repeat of the first string anyway. So, so that's easy when you're building, when you want to build scales without even worrying about what cage shape it is, okay? But you have to worry about this is the third of whatever key you're in, period. All these numbers are relative to whatever to this R, whatever that R is. So if I build, if I put this on the bottom, this on top, what's the sixth string going to be? The tippy top string is going to be the two, three, four again. All right. So you know you don't have to. You don't want to play. But it's going to be warped. So what's going to be warped is going to be the 6, 7, R, and the 2, 3, 4. All right? Um, so that is likely, um, that's likely an A shape or something like that. Actually, if you start on 2, it's a D shape. It's a D shape. So this longy guy is going to be warped to this longy guy. And you know the D shape, the real D only has the 2 on top. But it's fun to go to the fourth D. So that's the way it goes.